Hey cuties, what's up and welcome back to my Roblox channel. Now before we get going, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. Now I am giving away a free iPad and AirPods to one lucky winner who buys my merch on HeyCuties.com. For every item that you purchase, you get one entry into the contest. But you only have seven more days to enter, so hurry and go get your merch now. Anyway, so in today's role playing video, Holly the Rich Brat's parents got fed up with how entitled she was acting. So she got sent to military school. Also, this is just a character I'm playing. I don't actually act like this in real life and neither should you. I'll take three of those shirts and two more pairs of pants. Oh, and those shoes I liked earlier? Yeah, I'll have those too. Very good, Miss Holly. My dad told me to stop using his credit card so much, but I'm sure he won't mind if I treat myself just a little bit. It always just cheers me up to buy things, you know? Sure, yeah, I can see how that could cheer someone up. Do you not do the same? I'm on a tight budget these days. They only pay me minimum wage here at this shop, but when I do get to buy something, it makes it all the more special because I know I worked hard for it and I feel so proud of myself for that. Totally, I feel the exact same way. Like how daddy worked so hard for me to be able to buy all of these things. He's always looking out for me like that. Right. Anyways, do you take American Express? We sure do. Do you need help carrying everything to the car? Oh, no need. My butler, Charles, is there to help me. Shall I take you home, Miss Holly? Not yet. I still have to get my nails done and get some jewelry. I see. Well, off we go. Later that same evening. I don't see what the big deal is, Daddy. I just picked up a couple of things. Oh, this is my fault. I never taught you the value of a dollar. I never made you do any chores. I let Charles help you with everything. And now you think that money just comes easily. And it doesn't matter how much you spend. If it would help, sir, I could stop helping her with everything. Don't be ridiculous, Charles. What your father is saying, sweetie, is that we don't want you to grow up and be spoiled. Why not? Spoiled people are the best. They always look amazing. They have amazing shoes and they always get what they want. Don't you want me to always get what I want? I'm so confused. You need to learn some discipline. I had already had this conversation with you last week, remember? I said you have enough clothes for now and to just chill out with the credit card for a bit. Maybe just live in the moment instead of always dressing for it. This is ridiculous. I should not be getting punished for loving fashion. Fashion is life. You're not being punished, sweetie, and you know I also love fashion. As do I. Hello, so do I. But what I don't love is you using my credit card when I explicitly told you not to. I hate to do this, but if you use it one more time without my express permission, I am going to have no choice but to send you to military school. What? But then I'll have to wear khakis, and you know that's all wrong for my skin tone. I know, but maybe it will help you appreciate the clothing that you do own instead of always feeling like you need to buy more. And you don't have to go so long as you don't go shopping again tomorrow. Oh, come on, Dad. I'm sure I could go one day without shopping. The next day... I'll take one of those, one of these. Oh, and do you have this in red? I'm trying to incorporate more red into my wardrobe this fall, so I match the leaves. I'll go check. A few moments later... Welcome home, Miss Holly. Shall I take your shopping bags upstairs? Shopping bags? Holly, I am very disappointed in you. I am sorry to do this, but I am enrolling you in military school. It's the only way you'll ever learn any discipline. What? You were serious about that? Wait a minute. Let me try again. I won't go shop again. I promise. Please, my nails will never last there, and I heard they shave your head. They're not going to shave your head. They're just going to teach you some things that I obviously can't. But I already know that camouflage is back in style. It's time to start packing. What? I have to pack my bags myself? Why can't Charles do it? You will pack them yourself. Yay! I need Charles to help me fix the car. Dang it! The next day... Thank you, Charles. I'm gonna miss you the most. Good luck, Miss Holly. Come along with me, young lady. I'll show you where you can change. <laughs> Fifteen minutes later... Take off that jewelry right now. What do you think? You can run and jump in that? You're gonna end up hurting yourself. This isn't the Hilton, Missy. You're not here to have a fun vacation where you can take selfies with your little friends for your Instabook feed. It's called Instagram? I don't care what it's called. Now take off all that jewelry this instant and meet me outside for training. Five minutes later. Everybody 
What is, listen up, we have a new recruit today, Miss Holly. She isn't used to this kind of lifestyle, so I want you to help show her what this is all about. When I blow this whistle, give me 50 jumping jacks. <laughs> that includes you, Missy. This is so not fun. How about I give you like 100 bucks and then you let me go back to the bunk? That's not funny, Missy. For the first time in your life, you can't buy yourself out of a situation. You're here because your father doesn't think you have any life skills, and judging by this latest comment, I'm inclined to agree with him. Hey, I have life skills. Oh, yeah? Like what? Spending other people's money? No! When I'm done with you, you're gonna know how to skin a squirrel and wear it as a hat! Ew, why would I do that? I'm sure you've never heard this before, but hats are for warmth, not style. They're made to keep you hot. I'm sorry, but a dead squirrel will never look hot. <laughs> Alright, pair up and do laps! Come on! So, how long have you been at this school? Three months. I was like you when I first got here, and now I just accepted that there's no way out, and I just do what they say. Well, have you ever tried to run away? What? Are you crazy? They make us do 50 laps on a good day. Can you imagine if we got caught trying to sneak out? Yeah, but what if we didn't get caught? Hey, stop chatting, you two. 10 extra laps for the princesses. Aw, oh, man. Three hours later. I think I figured out how we can do it. Do what? Sneak out, dummy. I already told you. I don't think it's worth it. Just hear me out. We wait until everybody falls asleep. I found a way out that won't wake up any of the sergeants. And as long as you stay with me, we're home free. No way. Come on. Do you really want your whole childhood to pass by while you're running laps and doing jumping jacks? Being a kid is supposed to be about having fun and being wild and free. You deserve to be wild and free. Come be wild and free with me. What are you two ladies conspiring about? <laughs> Just saying how the food here is much better than I expected. Well, it's no Ritz Carlton, but our hot meals hit the spot. Come on, just try it with me. Come on. Uh, fine, but if they catch us, I'm telling them that you hypnotized me into doing it against my will. Uh, whatever. Later that night. All right, let's go. Wait, let's check if everyone's really asleep again. We don't have time for that. Come on. <gasps> Uh-oh! Wow, this book is so good. Oh, I've been sitting on the toilet for five hours. Come on, I don't think he sees us. Let's go! Ew, that was close! But we made it! We made it! I never thought it would be that easy! See what I tell ya! Okay, well, what do we do now? We'll hop into our imaginary vehicle? Oh no, I knew this was a bad plan! No, now we hitchhike until someone picks us up and drives us home! What? Are you insane? Many hours later. Maybe we should try putting both of our hands in the air. What? Like I'm pretending I'm arrested? No way! I don't know. I'm all out of ideas. And now I'm starting to get a little sleepy. It's so dark out. I know. It's scary. I mean, where are we supposed to even sleep? I wish they hadn't confiscated my cell phone. I would have called Charles immediately. Charles? Our butler. You have a butler? You don't have a butler? Oh, we don't have butler. Well, you should really consider getting one. They truly do come in handy. Okay, sure. I'll get right on that. Oh, I'm scared. What's gonna happen to us? I don't know. I think I'm gonna fall asleep. <gasps> oh, me too. <gasps> the next morning. Oh, oh my gosh. What time is it? I don't know. I think we fell asleep. Quick, I see a car. Anybody want to ride back to military school? Oh, no. Ugh. You guys seem like you had a bit of a rough go of it. You know, the irony is if you stick it out in military school, you'll have all the survival skills you'll need to pull off something like that. Well, that's something. A few moments later. Holly, you're all right. Oh, thank gosh. Sweetie, I didn't realize you would actually hate it this much to try to run away. I'm so sorry. You can come home. I don't ever want to be that worried about you ever again. You know what, Dad? I think I'm going to stay. What? 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 I believe Miss Holy said she is going to stay. No, we heard her. We're just surprised. You're right. I want to learn how to be a real person and how to survive on my own. With
without everything being handed to me. Well, I have to say I'm a little surprised to hear you say that, but I'm also so, so proud of you. Me too, Holly. And me. Thanks, Dad, Mom, and Charles. I love you guys all so much. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to comment down below which Brookhaven role-playing video you guys want to see me do next. And congratulations to Kalani Cruz for being our post notification winner. If you guys want to be our next post notification winner, all you have to do is turn those post notifications on and comment done when you're done. And always make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn those post notifications on so you can alert every time I upload a new video. And remember guys, always be a unicorn. Bye! The Girls World Collection is officially live on HeyCuties.com! We've got this adorable tie-dye hoodie with me and Skye on it, our super cute Girls World posters, our back-to-school backpack, and of course, our Mackenzie plushie. So click the link in my description to visit HeyCuties.com! Oh, and don't forget to stream Girls World! <laughs>